The film opens on a scene of a young girl, a teen girl, being attacked by an unseen assailant. You don't really see the violence happening. Um, this scene is returned to a few times in flashback throughout the film and it's, it's quite heavily discussed throughout the film. And you learn throughout the film that she was sexually assaulted by this attacker and she was also murdered. You do actually see her corpse lying at the bottom of, bottom of a dumpster uh, fairly, fairly early on in the film so that you know that she has died. So it's really the themes in this film which are the quite heavy, uh, particularly regarding the death of a child and certainly the, the death of a teen girl whose life is suddenly uh, taken away so violently and about how as a parent you deal with that grief, uh, how you react to that and then how you move on with your own life. There is other scenes of violence in the film. People are shot, uh, one of them happens off screen. There's also people who are hit with objects such as a shovel and punched, um, thrown to the ground, hit, um, pistol whipped and you see people thrown against the wall, uh, being pursued. Uh, two people jump over a very high railing um, in pursuit of somebody. And one of them, as he falls down, he grabs his, arm, um, his ankle and knee in pain, uh, as though he's either damaged it or broken it, perhaps. Um, you do see scenes of arson, a burning car. You see break and enter and theft. You see a woman smashing a mirror. And uh, you also see a man being bitten by a dog. Well, actually, you don't see it. It happens off screen. Um, and then as a, as a consequence, the, the man then kicks the dog. Once again, you don't actually see that happen. You hear it off screen, you hear the dog yelp, and then you see the dog fly through the air. There is a scene of, uh, well, you see people flicking through a comic book, and it's quite a violent comic book. It's almost an illustrative depiction of the murder rape scene that uh, we're discussing throughout the film. So it's quite quite kind of graphic and uh, a little bit, you can, you can tell that someone with a fairly disturbed mind has come up with this particular comic book. Um, there is also, well, the main players, uh, they work for the counter-terrorism unit. So there's a lot of discussion about terrorism and, and in particular Islamic extremist terrorism. So while you don't really see a whole lot of that actually play out, you do see some footage of Middle Eastern soldiers carrying AK-47s and firing guns and that kind of thing. Uh, there isn't actually any terrorism as such that happens in the film, but there's a lot of discussion about, ter about terrorism, um, particularly directed at that in New York, at New York and the rest of the States. There is a little bit of blood in the film, not a huge amount. You do see a little bit of blood on lips and noses and faces, a few bloody cuts and scratches and some, some bruising and that kind of thing, some swelling. You also see one man in a very poor state, a very poor condition. Um, he's been held captive and he has very matted hair and scabby hands. Um, he has, he's in very poor health and you get the very clear impression that he is not in a good state. There isn't really any nudity in the film. The girl that you see in the dumpster, she has her kind of clothes pulled up a little bit, so you do see her legs. Um, there's one woman you see, well, you see some cleavage and you see a, a poster behind a man, uh, and the poster is very much of a woman shot from you know, the torso area, so she's wearing a very skimpy bikini. Um, so yeah, but there's no sex in the film or anything like that. There's a little bit of alcohol. You see wine, beer and spirits being consumed and a few scenes take place in a bar. There's no drug use in the film, although you do see a few vials of pills at one point. There's a little bit of swearing. The F word is used once. The S word and A word are also used a few times as well as the word uh, bitch. Um, there are some slang words for genitals and for bodily functions. And being about uh, Islamic extremism, there's also quite a few religious references throughout the film. Secret in Their Eyes is directed by Billy Ray and stars Chiwetel Ejiofor, Julia Roberts and Nicole Kidman. And you can read my full content breakdown of the film at cinemum.net.